another vlog. I just came back from the most amazing walk outside. It's such nice weather and I think it's finally here to stay because it looks like it's gonna be like this all week and leading into the next. So I'm so excited. I was gonna start the vlog this morning, but then I was just like, I can't be in my apartment all day and not enjoy this weather. So I met up with one of my friends and we went for a walk, we got a coffee and we ended up getting lunch too. And I just got back here. And so I'm gonna pick up a vlog today. I'm gonna be packing for most of it because I, I'm out of focus. <laughs> else is new i'm actually going to miami on thursday for one of my best friends bachelorette parties and i know i'm not going to be vlogging the trip i am going to be doing some tiktoks so you guys can follow me on there if you want to watch the content by the time this goes up we'll already be done and i'll be on a plane back to new york and finally seeing avery because he's been gone for a month but i figured i could do a vlog before the trip and show you guys some of the things that i'm going to be packing as fun as it would be to film this whole weekend and to vlog it i just think it's not going to be logistically possible and i just also want to enjoy with my friends and obviously there's the whole you know level of comfort of other people that i need to think about so um yeah, anyway, we're gonna have fun today. I'm excited to go through all my summer stuff because I really haven't looked at it in a long time <laughs> and I haven't really tried anything on it in a long time either. So I'm excited to take a look at it. And also I think what I might do is pull out some of my summer stuff and transfer it into my dresser because most of it right now is under my couch. It's where I store like all of my stuff that I don't wear, all my seasonal clothes and things like that. Um, so I feel like I might just kill two birds with one stone and, and do that at the same time. I also have a little bit of a haul for you guys. Nothing crazy. Just some Revolve stuff that I got in for this month. And then I also, oh my god, I didn't even think about this until just now. I got this package of hair products that I want to share with you guys. Hang on. Okay, I need to take this off too. It's actually perfect timing because I'm going to wash my hair tonight and I'm gonna be using these products. I've talked to you guys about this brand before, Daphnes. It's one of my favorite brands for hair care. I have one of their shampoos and then I have their leave-in hair milk, which is kind of like a hair conditioner. I love them both. Um, and yesterday I got a package with all of their products dedicated to blondes. There's literally five products. I can't hold them all in my hand, but I'm going to show them to you. Some of these I've used before and some of them are new to me. I've used the shampoo and conditioner before. This is what they look like. And then they also sent me this intense treatment, which I'm excited to try. I had a hair job the other week and they left this really drying shampoo in there and my hair hasn't really felt the same since so i'm gonna do the treatment for sure and then they also sent me this instant bonding glow which is like a shine serum i think you might have to do this in the shower though i don't know i'm gonna have to look this up i think you might have to use it in the shower but it doesn't say i'm gonna have to look this up but this is for silk and shine and then this is also um a brightening thermal fluid it's their sheer glaze i thought i would share this with you guys in case you're interested in case you're also a blonde i'm like excited to wash my hair okay first things first i'm gonna make myself a coffee because i didn't actually have coffee earlier I had iced tea um because i knew that i wanted to save my coffee for the afternoon Obviously gonna be taking my base carry-on with me. This is not sponsored, but um, I do have oh, I'm falling over. I do have the base luggage and I really really love it. I feel like I have to share that because I did buy it with my own money. I desperately needed to upgrade my luggage last year and I ended up buying both the carry-on and the large um, check bag luggage. So I have the matching set and I I just love them so much. It's super sturdy glides really well um, has this really nice handle as well so everything just feels very secure and yeah this is like the perfect size for a little weekend trip so i'm going to be bringing that okay so i've just been going through my stuff and trying things on something that i always do when i pack for a trip especially a trip like this where there's events and like dinners and stuff is i make a list of every event that's happening and then i try and plan an outfit and i take a picture in it um and this is just great to make sure that you don't overpack. I've definitely mentioned this before, but I used to always just throw a bunch of my favorite stuff in my suitcase and then 
I would get there and then I would, would always be like working on my outfit. I would never really know exactly what I'm wearing. And I would also always bring way too much. I was always overpacking. Um, and so ever since I've started taking pictures of things and like planning things accordingly, it's just been smooth sailing. So that's kind of what I've been up to. I'm also really mad at myself because I have this pair of denim shorts for my Goldie. I've had them for like two years now or something. And the first year they were a little loose, but nothing that I couldn't deal with when I was wearing them. And then last year it started kind of bothering me. So I went to get them taken in. And I swear to God, I must have gotten them taken in and then not tried them on after because I cannot do the buttons up. <laughs> They're so tight. And it's such a shame because they fit in my butt and legs still, but I just cannot get the buttons up without completely squeezing myself in. I do have another pair of shorts from Zara that I could potentially bring. The only thing is I have shorts that I wear during the day and then shorts that I bring to the beach because the beach shorts always somehow end up not getting ruined, but they kind of smell like sunscreen and they just end up being a little bit more rugged, which is fine for the beach. But yeah, I just feel like you can't mix them. Anyway, first world problem. I'm doing pretty well with my packing. I've figured out everything that I want to wear for the dinners and for the pool because we are going to like a little pool party on Friday and we're all wearing like pink bikinis. And then that night is when we're doing the club night. It's like our big night <laughs> and all the girls are wearing black and then Rebecca's gonna be wearing white. So I also picked up my outfit for that. And yeah, then I just need to figure out what I wanna wear on the first night because basically what we're doing is it's a joint bachelor and bachelorette party. So all the guys are gonna be in Miami as well. We're doing most of our activities with them on Friday and then Thursday night when is the first day that we get there is gonna be like just the girls. So to figure out what I'm gonna wear for that. Okay, so I'm not wearing heels. I'm not really sure which heels I'm gonna bring for this, but this is the dress that I'm thinking of wearing on Thursday, which is the first night. It's gonna be our girls dinner. I got this from Revolve last year and I've only really been able to wear it one time, but I really love it. I have to fix the strap because it's twisted, but it's super comfortable and also just very flattering. And what I also realized is that it doesn't wrinkle. <laughs> So that'll be nice, and I won't have to worry about steaming it when I get there. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to wear this. And then I have this for the Friday night. I know what you guys are thinking, it's Miami, why are you wearing long sleeves? But I just love this jumpsuit, and I think because we're going to be inside for the most part, it's actually going to be nice to have a little bit of coverage. Um, I do have another option, which I'll try on, but I think this is what I'm going to go with. Again, I, I feel like it's not translating on camera, but it's so cute in person and I feel so good in this. I've worn this a couple times to different events and it's always my, my go-to black outfit. Um, it's a mini jumpsuit, by the way. These are shorts, it's not a skirt. This is also one of those easy to pack outfits that just looks good when you take it out of the suitcase. I'll try and link this if it's available. I got this from Revolve 2. It's actually one of my gifted items. Um, but I feel like they bring it back every year, so it should be available. If it is, I highly recommend this, especially if you're kind of like me and you don't love short skirts, you don't love short dresses, then this kind of gives you the same feeling, but it's obviously shorts instead. Okay, so then the other option is this, which is a slip skirt with a corset top. And I've just put it over top of the skirt, so it kind of looks like it's a one piece, but I don't know about this. I really like this top and I love the skirt. I just don't know how it's gonna work together because usually when I wear this top, I wear them with pants and it kind of secures the top. And now I kind of feel like it's falling down a little bit. This is definitely an option, but I'm still leaning towards the jumpsuit for sure. Okay, this is what we're working with right now. These are the two outfits that I showed you, the dress and the jumpsuit. And then I have my two bikinis here. I'm probably gonna add one more just in case because I feel like you always need to have an extra bikini. This is the pink one that we're gonna be wearing on the first day. And then this is like a matching pants and button down set that I'm gonna wear to the pool. It's just like super light and flowy and nice to wear to a pool party. These are just some like tanks and t-shirts and shorts for when we're chilling and getting ready. This is the other bikini that I'm bringing. I just got this one recently. This one is Camila Cuello 
and you guys might recognize it because I actually also have it in green. This is the green color and it's just one of the most flattering bikinis I've ever owned and they fit so well. So I had to get it in the red. So I'm gonna bring that and then on that day, I'm probably just gonna wear these jean shorts. These are the Zara ones that I mentioned and then I have this white button down um, that I'll use as a cover up. Then I'm also bringing this black dress. This is the maxi dress that I wore like crazy last summer. It's from Free People. I'm pretty sure it's sold out, but I will try and link it if I can. If not, I'll find something similar. This is just that staple dress that I always bring everywhere because it is perfect for any occasion. You can dress it up or dress it down. And as long as I have this with me, I know I'll always be able to create an outfit. What else do I have? I have just like a sweatshirt and sweatpants in case we decide to sit outside and it's chilly, which I doubt but I just always have to have sweats with me. And then I'm bringing this flannel that I love. I can wear this to the beach, but I can also wear this like around the hotel. I'm gonna bring this hat and sunglasses. And then I think this is the bag that I'm gonna bring for the weekend. This was sent to me this past week. I thought the brand was pronounced Elmi, but it's actually LM. So I'll link this down below. I love it. It's the perfect summer bag and I actually have this style in another color, so I know that I love it, I know that I wear it a lot, and I think it would go well with all of my outfits. Another thing that I always bring is like a tote bag because you can use it for anything. It's great for beach trips. You just throw your sunscreen and whatever else in there, and it's like a bag that you don't really care about if it gets ruined or if it gets dirty. And then if you don't end up using it, you can always put your dirty laundry in there and keep it separate from everything else. Day. just finished blow drying my hair and getting ready for a casting that I have today. I actually have a skincare casting, which is kind of exciting. Also why I'm not wearing any makeup because they wanted me to come fresh faced. So I'm gonna stop at the tailor before my casting because I have a couple of things that I need to get taken in or hemmed. I have these trousers that I actually got from a partnership um, and they're great. They fit super well, but they're really long. And so just want to get a little bit taken off the bottoms so I can wear them with sandals and things like that. These are a little bit loose in the waist. So I'm going to get those taken in. These are going to be great for summer. And then I also have these pants that I'm going to get taken in on the waist. These are actually part of a set. I did a TikTok in them the other day. It's like this really comfy, lightweight knit fabric. It comes with a matching long sleeve top. It's like a button down. Um, and I intentionally ordered a size up because I wanted them to be a little bit looser and longer But now they're like super loose on the waist. So I'm gonna get those taken in as well Okay, don't mind the mess on the floor. I have my suitcase here obviously and then I have some other stuff that I'm donating um, But this is my outfit for the day. I'm wearing a reformation pants and tank Such a great tank top. I really love it. And then these pants are also amazing. They're like my favorite summer trouser. They're super lightweight they do wrinkle a little bit, but I just honestly steam them every time I wear them, and yeah, I feel like it's fine. I think it just kind of comes with this fabric, to be honest. So I'm wearing that, I'm wearing my new balances. I wanna get a pair of summer sneakers that are just plain white, but I haven't found anything that I like, so I'm just gonna wear these for now. And then I'm wearing my vintage blazer. This one's from Dummy Vintage. Um, got it last year in Brooklyn and they're actually open again so I can link them in the description box if you guys are interested and want to do some vintage shopping on the weekends they're open Saturdays and Sunday in Dumbo and then I'm also wearing my new bag later I went home for lunch because I ended up getting a bunch of groceries from Trader Joe's and it changed because <laughs> it's way warmer out than it was this morning um, but anyway I ended up getting a coffee and now I'm gonna go to Target because 
I thought it would be fun to get some things for in the hotel room, like liquid IVs, gum, uh, what else did I want to get? Like makeup wipes, just like some cute little things to have in the hotel room for when we get there. I'm gonna go to Target and see what they have. And yeah, just like enjoying the weather today. Hmm. Just got ready for dinner. I'm going to 12 Chairs tonight, which is one of my favorite restaurants in the city. I will link the website for you in the description box. You guys can add it to your itinerary when you're in New York. Such good food. The location is amazing, especially if you're wanting to like walk around in Soho after or even before dinner. It's just like one of my favorite places to go. I use my shark tonight and I honestly use my shark so much, but I feel like I use the round brush the most just to do like a simple blow dry look. And I also love the air wrap tools. The only thing is because of my hair is naturally textured and wavy, in order for me to get like the actual nice like air wrap look, I have to straighten it first. And so a lot of the times I either don't have time or by the time I straighten my whole head, I'm like over it. Today I kind of broke it up because I did my blow dry in the morning and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna play around with the air wrap tool. And I did the full bottom layer and then I kind of just like twirled the ends on the top layer. And I like it, it turned out really like effortless and natural looking. Outfit wise, I'm wearing the same thing that I wore to my casting this morning, but it's fine because I'm gonna walk to dinner and I just wanna be comfortable. It's not like super high end or fancy or anything. So it's fine. And I'm bringing my blazer for later. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here because I'm not gonna bring my camera to dinner and I have to work tomorrow so I can't vlog that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.